Hi, Boods. Reach your dreams with me. Don't give up just because you don't have all you need. Or just because you encounter a few bumps on the road or someone tells you that you're not good enough or life has been unfair or it's taking too long to accomplish. Di galing sa Google to ha, galing sa heart ko yan. <laughs> May this gift will remind you that I'm always here to support you and you can always count on me. Even when you fall, even when I will not be at your side all time, when you needed me the most, thank you for the love, support, and for everything. Relax and enjoy as we are about to start our forever. I love you always. Charot. <laughs> love, Lester. <laughs> Sa pag-aasawa, tatanggapin ninyo ang isa't isa, hindi lamang yung mabuti sa kanya, kundi pati yung hindi pa ninyo nakikita. Lalabas at lalabas yan. Hindi ko alam, tanungin ninyo ang may mga pamilya dito, may mga asawa. Nung nag-asawa na, nagugulat kami na yung hindi namin inasahan lumalabas. Pero di ba ninyo alam, yun ay nagpapasarap ng relasyon ng mag-asawa. Natututo kayo sa isa't isa. So, Lester, Shea, tanggapin ninyo ang isa't isa ha. Alalahanin ninyo na ang inyong pinakasalan, hindi lamang yung mabuti, na meron sa isang tao, maging yung hindi mabuti, ay kasama yan sa inyong kasunduan. Thank you for being the man that I need and not just the man that I want. Thank you for being both. I want you to know that I truly love you. Today's our big day. Stay foggy and fresh. <laughs> I'm so excited to walk down the aisle with you and say I do. Lots of love. But I'm excited about it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, oh, 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 may mas excited sa akin. Kevin Fon. Thank you. another unless put God as the primary one person in your relationship be devoted to him first and foremost otherwise ang inyong magiging relasyon ay magiging shaky at huwag natin pahintulutan na ang kaaway pumasok para wasakin ang inyong relasyon When 
I say be devoted to God in order for you to see your devotion with each other well you've got to put the word of God the center of your what relationships advices in life you can find it not from other people but solely from the word of God if you want to have a children you can find it in the Bible if you want to have a happy marriage you can find it in the Bible if you want to find assurance despite of the rocky relationship you have you can find it in the Bible all things in this world You can find them in the Bible. Meaning to say, be devoted to God, be devoted to His what word, and be devoted to your what prayerful life. <laughs> Kapag tinanggap ninyo ang isa't isa at devoted kayo sa Panginoon sa kanyang salita at naging prayerful kayo, magkakaintindihan kayo. Right? Kindat lang na mata, nagkakaintindihan na. Nung araw, kapag kinindatan ka ng tatay mo, nababasa mo kung ano ang ibig sabihin. Right? Pero ngayon, pag ang nanay o ang tatay ay kumindat sa anak, kinikindatan din siya ng kanilang mga anak. Hindi nababasa at hindi naaintindihan. Pero kapag kayo ay nagkakaintindihan sa isa't isa, isang kindat lang naaintindihan ninyo. Right? So, ibig sabihin, mga anak, ay unawain ninyo ang isa't isa. Kung nagkamali man si Lester, alalahanin mo siya ay malayo sa iyo. Si Lester naman ay malayo sa iyo, anak. Malaki ang inyong pagitan dahil nasa ibang lugar siya, ikaw naman ay nasa Pilipinas. Maaring meron kang mababalitaan, maaring meron siyang mababalitaan na hindi maganda, na hindi naman totoo. Mga anak, manatili ang inyong devotion sa Panginoon para ang inyong pagtanggap sa isa't isa, ang inyong pag-unawa sa isa't isa ay hindi mapasukan ng virus para sirain ang inyong relasyon. Pag naroon siya, at kung sakaling hindi natawag, hindi nagte-text, unawain mo. Right? Ganon din ikaw, Lester, kung sakaling hindi ka nakakatanggap ng text at call kay Jeshe, unawain mo. Huwag tayong magduda. Sapagkat ang pagdududa, ang pasimula para sirain ang relasyon ng mag-asawa. Woods, before everything else, I thank God for this opportunity to get married. 
This is not how I imagine it to be when I was younger. <clears throat> With the same faith as mine, and that's so much better than what I could imagine. God has blessed me with a confidently handsome person with a big heart. Woods, I want you to know that today is one of the best days of my life. I will always remember that this very day is the day we become one. I vow to you today not to be perfect or to expect perfection from you, but to always grow from every experience. I know it will not always magically be rainbows and butterflies. It will not be as easy as waving a magic wand saying, bibidi bobbidi boo <laughs> Some moments will not be so perfect. Some memories will not be so sweet. But with God's grace, but with God's grace alone, amidst pain and struggle, I know it will become beautiful. <laughs> I don't want to marry you just to wake up next to you every day or be with you forever. I want to marry you because marriage has its ups and downs, huge challenges, unending debt and bills. And through all this, you are the person I want to go to. I don't want to marry you just because it's cute and exciting. I want to marry you because it's real and hard work and the lifetime with you is worth every second of it. I will stick with you whether sick or healthy, whether fragrant or smelly, whether we have money for mukbang, and sangyup or not <laughs> and at the same time believe with you that god is our healer and provider i promise to love you in instances that i hate you i promise to listen to you and to understand you boots i love you today i will always love you until the last petal falls finally this is our happily ever after It has been 10 years, 2 months, 9 days and about 8 hours ago since we first met. <laughs> that was the time when we both became friends. That day, never have I imagined that I would be where I am today. Standing in front of you, together with our loved ones, in a place where I will pledge my love and look into the eyes of the person before, who before said, Ang pangit mo naman. Iwalay naman ngipin mo. At ngayon, nagsasabi sa akin, Poging-pogi mo naman. <laughs> you always have believed in me and you have shown me how it is to love unconditionally. Every single day, you have given me that security that I am the one and only love of your life. You have also made it easier for me to sleep peacefully throughout the night, especially when I'm away. Your love has given me a new life filled with wonderful opportunities and great adventures. And today, I will marry my best friend, the one person that I will live to love. Buds, I take you to be my wife from this day forward. I will cherish you, and I am looking forward with great joy to the path of our tomorrows. Knowing I have you with me by my side, and together we will walk on it hand in hand and heart to heart. On this day, November 30, 2021, I promise you, surely may Cruz, that as long as I live, I will love, respect, and honor you. 
I promise you my deepest love, my fullest devotion, and my compassionate care through all challenges and uncertainties of life. I will be committed to self-growth, your growth, and for the growth of our relationship. I promise to be supportive and honest, to be, to be available for you, to listen, and to communicate my feelings and needs. I will be faithful to you in mind, body, and spirit. I will not just be your best poggy husband, but your best friend, your no boots, goy, and most of all, your life partner, no matter what life brings us. From this day forward, my heart will be your shelter, and my arms will be your home. I give, I give you my hand to hold. I, I give you my life to keep. But today, I pledge my commitment unto you. I love you always and forever. By the power vested upon me as a minister of the gospel and by the Republic of the Philippines, I now pronounce them husband and wife, what God had joined together, let no one and nothing will put them asunder. Thank you. 
Thank you. 